It's all about Apple's blockbuster announcement that the iPhone is about to turn into a new emergency satellite phone of sorts. Folks, so many headlines, but we're giving you the really juicy ones. When users are off the grid in distress, the new iPhone 14, of course, it looks like it's in the dark at the moment because they're so dramatic with this, but the new iPhone 14 can be pointed directly at a satellite to connect with first responders. And then you can let, via the emergency sat feature, Anybody know your location to give you help? This is initially going to be available in the U.S. and Canada this November. Apple shares up three quarters of a percent right now. Apple's latest and greatest iPhone 14, brand new one, will be available on October 7th. Here are the prices, starting at $799, $899 for the Plus, which, by the way, is now the biggest phone yet at 6.7 inches and delivers all-day battery life. I will believe the all-day battery life when I see it, though. Oh, and the iPhone 14 tickling investors pink with a new color added to the lineup, deep purple, along with the OG shades, silver, space black, and gold, right? And the Apple Watch also getting an upgrade with the Series 8 with new health features to track temperatures, blood sugar, oxygen levels, ovulation levels. Mm -hmm. Even a car crash to alert authorities and emergency contacts. Series 8. $399, $499 for the cellular that's built in. Let's bring in Tigris Financial Partners CIO and Director of Research Ivan Feinseth and Oppenheimer Technologies and Services Senior Analyst Martin Yang. Gentlemen, start your Apple engines. Ivan, I'll begin with you. Apple sure has these events down to a science. So play scientist for us. What did you hear that has you, and I guess by extension investors, most excited about? Well, first of all, these events are well produced and yeah. always very exciting. And I think the health features continue to be something that drives consumer interest in tech adoption, such as smart wearables and um, new phones. So I think that they touched on a lot of key areas in health and fitness. And then the second area is safety features, including uh, the crash detection and the new satellite emergency connectivity. I think those are very intriguing. And the price points of the phone is actually, I think, lower than previous models. So uh, they didn't drive up the price. Certainly, that's some deflation, if you will. And, um, you know, that there continues to be a significant interest in smart wearables as it relates to fitness and healthcare. Mm -hmm. And in fact, Tim Cook has said several years ago that he believes that Apple's biggest contribution will be in healthcare, And I think that these new features further that initiative. Yeah, and a lot of them, Martin, are packed into the new Apple Watch. And there are a whole bunch of different ones that they put there. So the Apple Watch, they've got the 8 series. Then they have this Ultra Watch for the Ultra Outdoor Explorer made for outdoor training, hiking, water sports like scuba diving. That one's hitting the store September 23rd for $7.99. And it's got all kinds of features. As you look at that and you see some of what they are packing now into this, it's it's like a mini computer on your on your hand, is it not? Yeah, that's for sure. You know, Apple, when you look at the past product development roadmap, it's really creating more high-end features that caters very, to very specific high-end or prosumer segments, uh, which Apple is able to um, charge them more. And Apple is doing exactly that with the Apple Pro, uh, with Apple Watch Pro. And uh, I think that creates additional uh, brand loyalty, creates brand, uh, new users for other Apple mm -hmm. products. Yeah, we're looking at the Hermes horse face. Usually in the past, a horse face was not a positive compliment, but look at that thing. That is so cool. Okay, so they've got all kinds of partnerships. They've got the one with Nike, again, with the French uh, luxury brand Hermes. As we, I just want to point this out about the Apple Watch Ultra. They had extreme explorers running around in snow and ice and swimming and scuba diving. There was a little bit of a, of a moment where they had some, some sound, and I wanted to play this for our viewers, and then we, we need to get, obviously, to the iPhone as well, the brand new one. But as we look at this, designed specifically for adventure and endurance, 36 hours of battery life for this watch, and uh, as, as, you, as you figure who really wants this, is this going to be for people who are maybe adventure wishes that they were you know these elite athletes but let's listen in and then you can you can comment ivan long months of complete darkness bitter cold 
constant danger. Safe return. Doubtful. All right, I'm never going to be that person, Ivan, to climb uh, Everest. I'll watch the movie about all the people who perished <laughs> not climbing it. But does this attract people who aren't of that elite athlete status? Absolutely. Just as you have aspirational brands, aspirational products, you right. have aspirational achievements. And even if you don't climb Everest with this watch, it makes <laughs> you feel good to know that if you did, it would help you. So I think the um, func extreme functionality it, it gets a lot of use in people's normal daily pursuits, especially if you're using, doing you know, other types of exercise and uh, people are really into smart wearables. It's a huge growth trend. They're increasing the functionality. It's being used in so many ways. And these really aren't even small computers on your wrist. These are powerful computers today, including the, the iPhone is a very powerful yeah, computer. Very much and so. And the big, big thing about it is that all these products contribute to the growth of the Apple ecosystem, which drives increasing services mm. revenue. For example, the uh, emergency SOS features, they said it's free for a few months, but then there'll be a monthly fee for that. Services. And uh, they didn't say how much it would be. But again, if you are in a position where you're off the grid and don't have cellular connectivity, it's something that you probably will sign up for. It's also very similar to the Garmin InReach emergency satellite transmitter that they have that is very popular. So um, it, it, it also uh, grows the demand for uh, Apple Fitness, Apple TV, Apple Music, Apple Care, Apple Pay. Uh, your prior guest on the previous show spoke about the fact that Apple Pay has now exceeded MasterCard in the total number of payment transactions. So people are using right. these contact payment processes that are being built into smart wearables and uh, phones. Martin, we'd be remiss if we didn't get to the AirPods Pro 2. They launched September 23rd, 249 bucks. We talked about this on our TikTok this morning. The rumor and the leaked feature was that it would have the Find My feature embedded within it because who hasn't lost their, iP their, their AirPod case, right? I mean, this is the kind of accessory that adds so much to the bottom line, even though at 249 bucks a pop, you get the sense that it, it's not a huge, uh, big move there. But still, how do you view the AirPod evolution? I think it's a uh, very incremental incremental improvements um, from the first generation, but mm -hmm. it has many welcoming features that consumers were looking for in the past two years, uh, like the um, the lenders that are can go with the uh, with the case and the speakers they are adding to the case so they can find it uh, much better. So I think that will generate a renewed interest in the uh, AirPod Pro category yeah. um, and overall, uh, you know, revive uh, the AirPod sales in general. All right. Well, again, aside from the Apple Ultra Watch, it feels like it's again more evolution versus revolution as we continue to watch. We will also be watching all of the orders that come in. Oh, yes, in the lanyard for your AirPods, for those of us who have lost about 11 pairs. Good to see you both. Ivan, Martin, both have an outperform on the stock. Martin has a 200, let's see, a $190 price target. Ivan, you're up there at $210 price target. At the moment, we do have Apple trading at around, last I saw, about 156. Yeah, so it's rising here, about one full percentage point. Gentlemen, thanks. Thank you. Thank you.